Today, on The Finer Things, a question. Am I, as a noob smoker, ruining my palate? Only you can answer that today on The Finer Things with me, your host, Chad. As I get into the world of pipe smoking, there are a lot of things that get me excited, as any hobby in my life. One of those things would be I jump into a hobby and I right away throw a lot of money at it. Hobbies I've done that in the past, video gaming, disc golf, which I do still play occasionally, but not as much as I did. Paintball when I was younger, and boy, I put a lot of money into that, and now I have none of the equipment anymore. Also, shooting. I do like guns. I own several. But I got into it really big and ended up buying like two or three guns, three guns. And now I don't shoot that much anymore. Some of it's time, but it does get expensive. Cigars. The difference there is I still enjoy cigars. But when I got into pipe smoking, I really threw some money at it. I wouldn't even know what I've spent on it to this point. But I have an Evernote. Thank you to Babyface Huey for showing me this really cool idea with Evernote and how to like put in tobaccos and decide what you want to get, what you want to try. I really appreciate that, Baby Huey. If you have not subscribed to him, which I imagine most of you have if you're here watching me, go check out his channel. It's really informative. But my question is this. So in Evernote, I have 17 different tobaccos that I've purchased already. I enjoy trying them. I enjoy buying them. I enjoy smelling them. For instance, this is Haunted Bookshop. Never had it till today. But my question is this. Is it possible for a noob smoker like myself to mess up their palate, or maybe mess up the palate is not the correct term, but to put too much in front of me right away? Should I slow down and maybe focus on two or three tobaccos and smoke them exclusively? Or do I continue what I'm doing where I'm buying a lot of different types of tobacco and trying them? Like, I don't know. I don't want to be overwhelmed. I don't want to overwhelm my senses. But what I'm starting to notice is in some ways I start forgetting what I've had and what I'm tasting. And again, like I said, I'm still very new to this. And so Haunted Bookshop I know is a burly, a burly based blend. And I know it's got Burley, Latakia, and Virginia because TobaccoReviews.com told me that. But when I smoke it, I'm not sure what I'm tasting. I'm not sure what flavors I'm pulling out. And so I just wonder, am I overdoing it too fast? I imagine, it, like in anything, you get into it too quick, you go f too far forward, and it's very easy to get overwhelmed. I don't want to do that. I want to enjoy this hobby. I want to be able to pick up the nuances of the flavors. So that's where I need your guys' help. You, the YouTube pipe community, or anybody else who has an opinion, I'd really appreciate it if you would put some comments down below. Tell me what you think. Am I going crazy? Am I trying too many things? Do I need to slow down and maybe smoke something a little more at a time? Maybe, uh, I know... Eddie Gray at the Pipe Nut talks about five different types of tobacco. Maybe I need to focus in on those bigger categories before I get into the, the nuances of the smaller stuff. So I need your help here. What do you guys think? Is it possible for a noob smoker or a novice smoker to overdo it, to make the palate not be able to tune in on flavors because I'm trying too many too many things. I would really appreciate your feedback and your comments on that. Thanks again for watching The Finer Things. 
I'm your host, Chad. We will see you next time.